seems fine. But can you hear me now? Yeah, I don't know if it's mute. Oh, I can hear you better now. Can you hear me? Yay! I can hear you. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good. So I was asking um, your first role in movie. Like, how did it feel being in the first role? Like, how was it on set? Okay. Um, on set, still the same tenacity. It was amazing, and I said we had to go on a. Uh, we they had the the equipment set up. They had the cameras, the lights, and everything. And then they were like, "Can we get the little girl into her costume?" And I'm like, "My costume?" I was like, "Okay." And then they had these sleeves that they tied around your waist. So I I was amazed, and I was so tiny then. I was walking around the whole set, asking questions, asking questions like, "Why would you do this? Why would you dress up in leaves for a movie?" And they're like, "No, it's it's my like it's their job and it's what they like." And I, I said, "Okay, that's cool. I think I want to try to." Okay, so, um, so it's not 
long if I say that was the most challenging scene for you? Yes, it definitely was. So how were you able to do it? Well, the rape scene, at first we had to do it on the third day of, sh of the movie. And I couldn't do that. My hands were shaking, I was trembling. I was so scared, so they just had to keep pushing the day until it was the last day of the, of the set and there was no other choice but to film it. That day I called my mom, I called my family members and they were just like encouraging me, supporting me, telling me I could do this and I guess I did. The directors on set, they helped me a lot. They, they just confided, I just confided in them and told them all the problems and then they adjusted some stuff and it made me a little more comfortable to do the same. Mm, okay, that's nice. So did that change your whole like perspective on movies? Did you see now movies are kind of bad or you still love acting? Well, I don't see movies as a bad thing. I see them as another way of telling stories, living other people's yeah. lives, having adventures. Okay, amazing. So how long does one take, like, take, like, when you're filming a movie, like, how long does it take to get that perfect shot? It depends on which scene, but because if it's, like, one, the one camera set, then you have, you'll have to use that one camera to take your, your medium shot, your wide shot, and then your close-up focusing on your face. So, it yeah. depends on what the director gets. If he doesn't like where the light is, he's going to have to change the positions and then you're just supposed to wait there, stay in your character and hope, and hope that they get the, the right adjustments. But when the set is like really planned, it's when, when the set is planned well, we don't have that, those many problems. Okay, so have you ever thought of like directing your own film or do you just like acting? Um, I'm actually working on something right now. It's um, it's a, like a little documentary. But here's the thing: what it's something I did when I was little, and now I'm just going to like reaction to what I did when I was little. So I think it's really going to be really good. Okay, I'm really looking forward to watching that. Okay, so. How old were you when you acted in The Fisherman's Diary? When I acted in The Fisherman's Diary, I was nine years old. Nine? Yes. And you knew how to act? Wow. You weren't confused or anything at nine years old? Well, I have. I, I like, it was kind of a bit hard for me yeah. to do that but yes I got through it because I I wasn't scared to ask questions when I was little so if I had a problem and then people helped me a lot like when they see a problem like if I'm doing a scene they come to me and they're like okay here's the thing maybe if you do this like this it will make it look more natural and that's what they do on almost all the sets I've gone to they're like a big, very big family they're so comforting oh let's Okay, so how was your experience on set, The Fisherman's Diary? How was it? How were the people? The Fisherman's Diary set was a, a really huge adventure for me and I love adventures. I love the story because almost everything I do, it, like what's in my head is I'm doing it for the rights and the education of young girls so I like I'm going for them, I'm like supporting them, speaking for them, like being their voice if they don't have one. So yeah, the set was amazing, the people were amazing. And the funny thing is that when we were on set, they, the, the, the people behind the camera, the children, they were staring at me for so long. They were like, what is this girl doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, how did you feel watching the first, the your first time watching the movie? How did you feel seeing yourself on the big screen? Well, I love the idea of seeing myself on a screen because that's like 
what actually another thing that made me to want to get into acting, especially because wow. of Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> I was like, I want to be like Barbie and uh. to wear a pink dress and be on TV. But it was uh. it was really good and it's so complicated question, quite complicated answer. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Let's just say yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, do you feel weird like watching yourself? Watching myself. I I watched I was excited about watching myself, but I'm going to be honest, I try as hard as possible to avoid the rape scene. So when I realize the scene is coming up, I just go outside, disappear, vanish, gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> so, um, and sometimes, uh, what? Yeah. sometimes when I'm doing a movie, mm -hmm. I like criticize my. When I watch the movie, I criticize myself, thinking, yeah, maybe if I did this better, then it would have looked more more natural. Yeah. And then it's like I'm caution. I'm using myself to teach myself. So I see the things I've done, and then I use the thing, the new things I've learned, and understand. Okay, if I did this like this, maybe it would have been better. Okay, that's amazing. I like that you're teaching a lot of people right now how to act, and I really like that. So, what about the world premiere? Were you there? The what? The premiere of the movie, like the first time you were seen. Oh, the first time I wasn't. I didn't have the advantage advantage of going to the first one, but I went to almost all of the all of the rest because when we were doing the first one, I wasn't in the area at that time, and there was no way for me to be there, and I was on another set of a different movie. So, uh -huh. okay. So tell us about your other movies. How many movies have we done so far? Oh, oh boy. Ah, are you ready to sleep here tonight? Yeah, I, I think I am. I'm pretty prepared. Okay, I just need to rush and get a pillow. Okay, I've done um, okay. about 12 movies, 12, 11. There's Tenacity by Musin Derrick. I don't have the links yeah. here, but there's Tenacity by Musin Derrick. There's Stripped. There's Saving Bango. There's Where I Come From. There's Between the Lines. There's The Fisherman's Diary. There's The Way to God, there's Dear Drinks Honey, um, there's, there's Vindicated, um, most of them are not out yet. Ah, okay. So of all those movies, which one's your favorite? Mm, favorite? It's hard to say favorite because being on different sets, it brings you different adventures and it's hard to choose one particular adventure but I'll just put it this way the most challenging was Fisherman's Diary and the most I say my favorite would be um uh I'll say where I come from because it was really fun and like every single time we shot this scene people would be laughing, laughing so hard because it was like a comedy type of movie and and there were parts when I watched myself and I was like, really? Did I do that? <laughs> so, it was big yeah. Okay, so do you want to do like acting like locally or do you want to do like big like USA movie? I just want to do big USA movies, I want to do all sorts of movies everywhere any country but I want to just tell stories and have adventures and I'm talking about adventures a lot yeah I can tell okay so have you had any of your own adventures like how many countries have you got um, unfortunately two well I've gone to I don't know how to put it, but I've gone to Cameroon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, uh -huh. and I've gone to Nigeria. I went there for a series called Upspring. Okay. So um, you've won many awards, of course. So uh, have 
we are going to like, okay, how do the awards work? Do you go to the country and then get them or do they send them to you? Well, unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, I wasn't advantage, I don't have the advantage to go and like, as a minor, I had to do a lot of tests so, to get to the country and of course because getting a passport in Cameroon is not the easiest thing to do and like the crisis doesn't let you move around much so for you to get from one place to another you have so many checkups like how old are you when were you born who is your mother who's your father who who sent you don't ask you so many questions before you get there so unfortunately that's Cameroon for you <laughs> okay so, um, um, did you get more job opportunities after a fisherman's diary was on Netflix? Um, I would say yes because I got the role in Nigeria and I got another role, but it's a secret. Ah, okay. Is it a series or a movie? And wait, I got another opportunity in a music video by an amazing Cameroon, Cameroonian musician. His name is Mr. Liu. And we did this song called JJ. And we did it on a mountain oh and it was so fun. I had so much fun there. But climbing it was not as easy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so um, what advice would you give kids all over the world who want to be like you? Well, I would just say the same thing I say all the time. I'll just say, believe in yourself. I'll say, like, you can do it. I believe in you. I trust you. And if people don't support you, then you can support yourself. And I know that your family will always support you. But if they don't, that doesn't mean you have to get rid of your talent. You should explore your talent. Yeah, that, that's very awesome. That's very amazing. Okay, so... I get this a lot. There are always people who are saying like, I want to be an actress. Like they want it to happen like right now. Would you just please tell them that it takes some time? Like every every other thing that people want to do in life, it's the same. Practice makes perfect. So I think there's no nothing you can gain without working for it. Like there's no easy way of getting to it. But if there's an easy way of getting to it, there will always be a consequence. So it's not really hard, you have to pass through auditions and monologues and you have to get to know people, having a good attitude, always remembering to be humble and just get to, letting people know that you like, have a talent. So you have to post a lot with your monologues and your videos, auditions for movie. Yeah. It takes a lot of time. Okay. Okay, awesome. So, um... Uh, would you like to pursue acting as a source of income, like your job, full time, or do you have something else that you're doing? On a hundred percent, definitely acting. But I always have my gymnastics and contortion just by the side, and I mostly do that for yeah. fun. And there's also school that I have to focus on first. So when I'm done with school, I can start thinking about more things like that. Okay. So, um, have you ever gone to an acting school or is it just talent? Well, there's a crisis going on where where we live when I was seven. It's a place called Bamenda. And there you can't stay one day without hearing gunshots. Like, at first it would be like, oh, they're shooting, somebody hide, hide under the table. But now it's like they're shooting, oh, just another day. We're used to it, it's fine. Oh, yes, I know you're surprised. What are you seriously? So I took uh, classes with a very amazing actor called Buga Samson, and he had he's a veteran, and he had this classes he used to give for kids for acting. I took it for a while, but unfortunately they had to relocate from where we were because again the crisis and it was really dangerous with the guys, so we had to. Okay, so you've never, like, that's the only, like, class you've ever been to for acting? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so do your parents support you in this career of yours? Well, my, I would say that I am so happy for
for the parents I have. Here's the thing. Yeah. In the industry, when you're in the industry, unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to spend with my father. But when you're in the film industry, you have a million fathers who are very caring. I have so many of them. And I would say yeah. my mom is amazing. She's so supportive. Because anytime we have to do anything, she she's always like, hey, talk to me. Do you want to do this role? If you don't, we can stop it. And she's always asking me, like, Faith, are you comfortable with what you're doing? And when I say yes, she's like, are you sure? She always asks me, oh, I actually have my mom and my sis here. Oh, really? You can bring them. See my mom? Yes, my mom. Cool. Hi. 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 Oh, my God. How nice look alike. Um, are there any tips on acting 
can tell us? Well, I would say for someone who wants to improve their acting skills, you should get to you should get used to a camera in front of you. You should get used to that. You should like like how I do I go on TikTok a lot. And there are these acting challenges I have and then these I also have my little dances, but those are just for fun. That's just like me time. So no one else but me. Yeah. So yeah. On and I on my TikTok account, I know that TikTok's like a really famous app. And if someone passes yeah. by my acting video, they'll be like, hey, this kid app. And fortunately, maybe it can be like a movie producer. And if they hear like, okay, she has done movies before, I think she might be promising, let's try her for this movie. They contact me. And that's how you can easily get a role, but you have you don't you don't have to just have one video and hope for it to succeed. You have to do a lot of videos yeah. so like they can be everywhere. And on Facebook, yeah. Instagram, so you just get known. So you have a TikTok page? Yes, I do. You didn't tell me that. Uh -huh. It's, um, you can find me at FaithFidel84. Oh, okay, okay. Everyone who's watching, make sure you go ahead and follow her on TikTok. Because I know your acting challenges are really good. Alright, sorry, it's FaithFidel0. Um, Faith, the one with 84 okay. is the one from Instagram. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, who would you like to act with in the future? Uh... I would say you. Me? Yes. Um, oh, I would also like that. I would say Lupita Nyong'o. I think, I think she's a good one. Yeah, I also love her so much. I'd like to act with Zendaya. Yeah. <laughs> she's kind of stressing me out, but she's too perfect. She's too perfect. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe one day you act with all those people, hopefully. And hopefully, if fingers crossed, maybe you. Yeah, yeah okay. Okay, so, um, uh, what are some of your hobbies? Like, what do you like doing at home in your free time? Well, I do paper craft, I do origami, and I sing all the time. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, can you sing that? Okay. Um Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I I I I'm shouting for a Cameroonian song. There's this Cameroonian song uh -huh. I can't really get it in my head. I hate it when this happens. Uh, <laughs> um Alright. Okay, okay, um, just give me a minute, please, um, I'm just going to search the song.
My favorite food. Um, it's a food called concha. Ah, why not? It's a mixture of corn and beans. In red. Wow. Okay. That is very healthy. I thought you were gonna say something like KFC or pizza. <laughs> well, what's yours? Oh, mine. Okay. Well, I just said it. It's pizza. I don't know. I just. I love it. You know, my friend and I. She's an actress too. She did. She acted in the Pajama Diary with me. That's actually where I met her. Yeah. The night I went, to sp I spent the night at her house, and that night we all, we had pizza. And then we just randomly had the the same favorite topping, and like oh. that's not a big coincidence because pizza. I love pizza too. It's delicious. God bless me. Yeah. I created pizza. I know. I, I just ate pizza right now. It's still on my tongue. <laughs> and the, the girl I'm talking about, her name is Mayochu Antebibai. She's the same age, and she's like. She's like a copy of me in a different face. Really? Everyone. Oh, we're making it. In the in the movie on the set, everyone called us the, the yeah. evil twins because we used to go around killing <laughs> people. Oh wow! So we were in front of someone, and then she would pretend that she just hit her toe on the rock, and then she falls down, and then she starts crying. And then everyone just gathers around her. She's like, "Are you okay?" And then she's like. Gotcha. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, that's amazing. I wish I was there. Okay. So next question. Are you right-handed or left-handed? I am right-handed. Oh, okay. That's nice. I guess that's where we're different. I'm left-handed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You know, in school, in school when I was bored and I finished copying the notebook, wow. board, I used to turn the page and I used to try to write with my left hand for some reason. <laughs> I don't know, but for some reason I did that. And then I used to go home and then laugh at how bad I wrote. <laughs> yeah. It's loading. No, what is happening in this loading? Oh, okay, it's back. Uh huh. <laughs> Can you hear me? Oh, still loading. It's okay. We'll be back soon. Back soon. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Okay, great. So, next question. What's your favorite animal? Um, <laughs> um, my favorite animal. Well, this is really, this is really hard. This is really hard. I'm in the midst of three different animals.
do. <laughs> okay, cool. So, um, what type of movies do you watch? Horrors, fantasy, fiction? Every kind. But my top favorite are comedy and horror. But on the top oh. is definitely horror. I love horror movies. Have you watched Annabelle? Yes, I have. And there's a movie. Uh, have you watched um, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark? Yes. I'll never watch it again though. I watched the movie with my friend, my YouTube. And that night we got scared. Yeah. We had to call. We had to find a way for someone to get downstairs to get, help us get upstairs without putting up the lights. So what she did, she put up the lights and she ran and left me downstairs. I was so scared. Oh no! Luckily, I ran right back to that. Oh, okay. Well, I do not like horror movies. <laughs> well, not that much, but I can watch them, but not, not like all the time. <laughs> okay, so, um, is it weird watching yourself in movies, or are you already used to it? It's definitely weird. <laughs> yeah. And so do you like look at your face and stuff? Yes, definitely. I look at my face okay. and I'm like, what? Like, really, me? Really, that's you? That's what you did? Like, <laughs> I don't know, it's just really confusing. It's the same way okay. I feel about hearing my voice. And make sure if you want to be a part of the Glitter Gang, if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button in the face and comment down below anything you want to comment. So, see you next time. Stay glittery. Bye.